Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another VW. It's been, well, a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, tonight we're going to do uh, two issues for you, 79 and 80. Um, so I think we'll be finishing off uh, one of the other doors. Um, so that means more windows, more um, hinges, uh, more... I think the actual lock works on this one, so it's going to be a bit more in-depth than the last door. So looking forward to it. So... Um, it's going to be a longer build tonight, I think, um, based on what I have seen. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Get back into some modelling. Uh, I was messing around um, just before the stream with some stuff. So, as always, I'm not prepared. But... Let's go for it. Right, so I'll go through some of this chat first. So we've got this models in saying, hi, everyone, Horlicks. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Horlicks. Good luck with your build and show. So, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Dano, uh, Dano's Universe is in saying uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Mark's Mod says uh, hello, everybody. Uh, Dave Max says, uh, good evening, everyone. Good luck with your build, Alex. Have a great show. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, hi, Mark. Hi, Dave. And Dave Max says, good evening, sir, Dave, Dano, and Mark. Uh, Mark's Mod says, evening to Dave Mack. And that is the chat for now. So, yes, uh, what we'll be doing. So, we're doing issue 79 and 80. Uh, so we've actually got three lots of um, three packets of parts. I believe we're going to be using uh, because we're going to be using the parts from issue seventy-eight uh, as well. So let's go down to the bench and we'll have a look. So. Right, so the cameras aren't sorted yet. There you go. So this is what we got in 78. So we'll be using that today. Um, but then in issue 79, we've got lots of little bits and pieces. So let me grab these out. And then we can uh, look through what we've got. I'd say lots of small parts in this issue. I'm going to leave that to the side until we're done in case. So we've got 79.1, which is the right side door window, which is in there. We've got 79.2, which is the door trim, which is also in there. 
Uh, we've got 79.3, which is the window hinge, part one, and 79.4 is window hinge, part two. So all of the hinges are in there. So I'm going to leave them until we need them. So also in there should be 79.5, 6, 7, and 8, which are all... Uh, they're the window latches. So we've got window latches and window hinges all in this little bag here. Right. 79, 9 and 10 and 11 are in this bag. So we've got the long pin. We've got short pins times three, which are in there, I can see. And then we've got a lock spring. So that's all in there. 79.12 is the handle. I'm going to open this. I'm going to have to open them all eventually anyway. But there we have the handle, which is 79.12. Uh, what else have we got? The lock mechanism, which is 13 which is this plastic part here. Then we've got the handle support, which is 7914, uh, which is there. It's plastic. Uh, we've got the uh, 70, uh, 7915, which is the lock plate, which is this plastic part here. Okay, uh, then that leaves us with some screws. Uh, so we've got some BD08 screws, which are in there. And we've got BP09 screws, which are in there. So this is the assembly diagram. So we've got lots of little bits and pieces to put on um, for the door mechanism, the lock. So yeah let's get started so the first thing we're going to want to do is retrieve the right side door 78.1 which was supplied with the last issue and that is in this bag here so let me open this up so yeah it's quite nice these issues because we're bringing a lot of things together and there we go and I'll keep this because I, I like I stored the door in that packaging last time. I'm just going to grab my uh, cleaning cloth because there's some markings on here. So let's give that a bit of a polish. Okay. So we're going to fit the trim on the outside of the door in the right position so that it marries up with the holes indicated and secure the trim from the inside the door with three BP09 screws. Okay, so. Uh, da -da -da. Let's get this out, the trim out. Okay, and it says R1 on the back. Now, this should only go in one way, yeah. So the centre pin you can just see is off centre. So this will fit one way only. Okay. And then we want three BP09 screws to secure that. I'll keep that in there like so. So, yes, how is everyone being? Yeah, it's nice to be uh, modeling again, even though I had a, a great, uh, no, that screwdriver's no good. Smaller one, no, that one's no good. That one's no good. They're wearing out. Well, there you go. 
back to the original. So that's one. Yeah, it was nice to go away. Um, but it's equally just as nice to uh, carry on with this build. Miss building stuff. It's been a while, well, two weeks, but. Okay. Again, this is plastic, so we don't need to go mad with that. And that is, I've got my fingerprints back on it, but that is the trim. Uh, so I'm going to go back through a little bit more of this chat. Uh, so we've got Ian in uh, evening. Oh, hi, Ian. How are you? Thanks for joining. We've got Stephen in. Hi, Alex. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Mark Smots says hi to E. Uh, sorry. Hi to Ian. Ian says hi to Mark. Stephen says hi all in chat. Mark Smods says hi, Stephen. Uh, Stephen says hi to Mark. Dave Max says evening to Ian Stephen. Stephen says hi, Dave Matt Fields. Uh, Ian says hi, Dave, 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 Sir Dave, and any other Daves. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen says hi to Ian. This model says hi to Ian. And Ian says hi to Stephen. So, yeah, thank you all for joining. So we've got quite a bit to do in this issue. So um yeah looking forward to it so step b is we're going to examine the handle uh, and its support so there's the support and there is the handle okay uh, the handle post has a flat section it only fits in the support one way Yeah, sort of. I think you can just see there. It's missed the corner out. So I'm going to have to try and dig that out with a with my, my blade. Which is easier said than done, so I don't want to cut myself. There we go. I think that's done it. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit more in the corner there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Slightly at an angle, um, but we'll see how that works out when we actually come to fit this. Okay, so. We want, first want to fit the handle from the outside. Like so. And we're going to turn this over. Put that on the other side. Okay. 
and then we're going to secure them both with a BP09 screw. Okay, it seems to work okay. Again, I don't want to go too tight with this, but that is as tight as that's going to go. And then it's if we look at the mag, I'm happy with that because with the handle straight, there's a slight angle on that part which sort of marries up with the uh with the mag there so i think we're good with that so next we're going to place the lock spring into the indicated slot so it's going to go up here in this rectangular piece and if we get this yeah the spring out let's do that uh where have i put there it is so I need to open these now. So I'm going to put all the pins and that in there. So we're going to place our spring in there. And then we want our the lock mechanism to go into the spring and it's showing it from this angle so that's going to push in and sit over i just don't want this to ping a bit blurred so the pin goes into the spring and then there's like a recess under that 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 sits into just there There you go. If I hold that, you can see how that's going to work. And that's really cool. Uh, so next, we're going to ensure the lock is properly fitted. Um, hold it firmly in place so it does not move and fit the lock plate, uh, placing the holes onto the door post as shown. So that's going to go on like... So, and you can see this, uh, it looks like someone's had a bite out of it. <laughs> uh, that's going to be facing uh, the lock. And then we're going to lock that all into place with two BD08 screws. And we're going into metal. So I'm going to get the oil out. Yep, that's one. Again, we don't want to go too tight with that because we are going into plastic. In fact, I might have gone a little bit too tight on that. But we'll see. Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to loosen that one off the tad. right so that is our lock mechanism into place so the handle is quite quite far up really Look at that it works right 
spot. I'm just going to remove this again because you know what I'm like. I'm not happy. So with that in there, How am I going to do this? That's better. Right, I think that sorted it. So, you put this back together. There we go. That's better. So what I did there was I had to force a bit of brute force. It's hard to explain, but on the end of this catch, there's a stopper. So the lock can't come out more than it wants to. So with that, with this cover off, I pushed the lock mechanism far over as far as it would go. And then I loosened the screw for the handle, straightened the handle. And then with my other finger behind, I would hold the handle in place and then tighten up the screw. I hope that makes sense. And then that will keep that straight. Um, and that that has, uh, that has uh, fixed the handle. So, brilliant. That's that bit done. So now we're going to move on to the result. Oh, that's it. So, yeah, that's how it looks. And then when we pull the handle down, the door opens. This is a little bit loose, uh, but that won't go any tighter. So, but it's enough to... Uh, actually make the lock work. Okay, so that is issue 79 complete. So we've done the door lock um, and all this stuff left over. Oh, nearly lost a pin. All the stuff that's left over we'll be using, I believe, in the next issue. So Let's move on then to issue 80. Um, so Lee says, uh, hi, Alex, and I'm in chat. Big thumbs up. Hi, Lee. 
Uh, thank you for joining. Thanks for joining. Ian says hi to Lee. Mike's mod says mine's the same, Alex. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I thought maybe they might have. I looked at it closely and I thought maybe it's an adjustment because of the handle, but it was an odd shape and it, and it wasn't fitting. So it had to be taken out on mine anyway. Uh, Ian says, uh, those, build, those building the stow bar, is it right it has no sounds at all, i.e. horn, engine running, etc.? Beer says, not sure yet, as I'm not that fine to the build, but it, uh, not, sorry, I'm not sure yet, as I'm not that far into the build, Ian, but someone else said, uh, no sounds yet. Uh, Ian says, okay, thanks, Dave. I'll look, in, look into it more and possibly a sound card for it. Uh, David Bassett says, good evening, everyone. Uh, Ian says, hi to David. David Bassett says, hi, Ian Campbell. Yes, says, jolly good, Ian. Uh, Dave Matt Bills says, evening to David Bassett. David Bassett says, evening to Dave Matt Bills and evening to myself, Horlick. So, yeah, hi, David. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the, uh, the stove bar. And I'm still, you know, looking at potentially a Bluetooth, maybe. Um, as I say, it's a bit early to work out how the electrics are working yet because I'm really confused on how how it's working because what I've seen of it, there's no microcontrollers or anything on that circuit board, so I, I, I don't know how it works. I, it's it's puzzled me. I thought that was like a breakout board where, you know, the main circuit board would connect into that and, you know, that would make sense, but to have everything running off that board just i don't know it's just so odd but obviously you know geordie said that that is how it is but i'm I, i'm just can't get my head around that well uh, david bassett says um hi to sir dave uh, ds models uh mark says hi to david bassett david bassett says evening to mark's mods uh, BS says hi to David Bassett and uh, David says hi Lee and Phil Road layout in the loft. Okay, let's move on then, shall we? To issue 80. So, parts included with this issue. Sorry, so yeah, all those parts from last time. So, the parts we get in this issue is in this bag here and i think we are going to need these so i'll get these uh these parts out so we've got the door uh, inner panel and then we've got some bd04 screws and we've got some bp09 and we've already got some bp09 from the last issue so uh, we're going to probably get through some screws. I'll put the BPO nines together. And then we've got a new screw here, BD04. All this, uh, all these little bits and pieces we've got here. So, Yeah, the inner panel, BP09 and BD04 screws. And then this is our assembly diagram. So, yeah, we're going to be making hinges, putting windows in. I love these windows and how they work. Um, and then finishing up this door. Step one, before beginning assembly, carefully examine the pins 79, 9 and 10, as mentioned in issue 76. They all have grooves at one end to secure them in place. Um, so, yeah, those of you who are familiar with these pins, they do have a rough end, which is this side. And you can tell because uh, it looks a little bit different there. So this is, all oh, that's the rough end. That's going back before it pings off. Okay. Um, and then it's important we always insert them uh, grooved end first. Well, that's not right, is it? That's a typo. 
it's important you always insert them grooved end first but we don't because if you look at the picture the grooved end goes in last so there we go that's wrong right so step two place all uh, place the two parts of the window hinge four and three on a work table as shown so let's work out what we've got here so this is the first part phase one with this part like so So then we're going to put these together. That is a little bit bent out of shape. And then we're going to want our long pin. This always makes me nervous. I'm going to use the, my hands for this one because it's long enough to do so. I'm going to try and marry all that up, push that through. There we go. And then using the bench here, I'm just going to push that down. There we go. So that's our first, first bit done. Okay, so going to put that to one side because we're moving on to step three now. And we're going to place all four parts of the window on a workbench as shown. So let's uh, do that now. So we've got that part that part that part and then finally we want that part that way i hope you can sort of see how i've done that so Just examine the magazine really carefully when you, uh, you know, when you look at this. So first, we're going to grab these two bits, flip them round into the orientation of the mag. So it's going to be oh, like that. this is really fiddly work and then we're going to grab a pin now these are all the same so i'm just going to grab the the grooved ends because that goes in last push that pin through if i can There we go. That went in lovely. Okay, so that's that pin in and we move. Okay, 
that being done, we now want this in this orientation, and then we're going to grab this piece, and it's going to follow, and it's going to go on like so, and then we want another pin. Well, that is quite a tight fit, so let's give that a little bit of a helping hand. Push that into there. Yeah, this is easier said than done. Right, let me get my fucking five Where is my tool? Oh, there we are. There we go. Perfect. And then we can just gonna finish them off with the prize. There we go. And that's that pin in. Okay, then the last step is to put this in. Oh, God. I struggled with this last time, working out. Right, yeah, it's going to go this way. And then we're going to get the last pin. Let's go in there. No, oh, too far. Come on. There we go. Through there. And there we have our hinge assembly for the window. Okay. Next thing, we're going to install the window latch assembled in uh, step ATC on the support indicated in the picture from the inside and in the position shown. So let's get our window. Place that down on there. I'm going to put this over the top of the window so we don't scratch it. And we're going to use these two screw holes just here. And that is going to go on like that. And then we're going to screw that in with two BP09 screws. That's one. And two. And then what we can do now is lift that up with that sandwiched in between so we don't scratch the, uh, the window. And then really carefully oops, screw that in. And I'm just being really cautious, looking for the gap. 
looking for the gap uh, between the screw head uh, meeting the the hinge. There we go. That'll do. So that is that hinge installed. Next, we're going to retrieve the right side door assembled in the last session and place the window glass outside the door and pass the hinge over the two holes inside the frame shown in the picture. Okay. So this is our door. Oh, I've missed a step. I thought it was a bit confusing. Yeah, we have looked. We've missed a step here. Take the hinge assembled in uh, 80B and place it on, um, on the long bracket inside the right door window. Secure it with two BP09 screws. So we're going to do the same with this one. It's going to hang on the outside there. That's one started. And two. Brilliant. Okay, now we can go back to this step. So this is going to go in there like so. Oh, wrong way. It's really confusing. I need to get my bearings here. We've already done one of the other ones, so. Ah, there you go. There you go. It's just, it's, it just confuses you, doesn't it? Come on, it's all getting all caught up. There we go. Okay, next we want to Screw the window to the frame with two BD08 screws. Okay. 
So again, we're going into metal. So I'm going to grab the oil. Okay, so that is the uh, the window installed. Just going to clean off some of the, uh, the handprints on there. All right, and then I'm going to go through other side of coffee, and we'll go for a bit more chat because lots has come in. Mark says you can always push the truck along and make broom broom noises. <laughs> yeah. Ian laughs at Mark. Uh, Ian says reliving your childhood. Yeah. Uh, Mark's mod says uh, Ian Campbell. Oh, yes. David Bassett says I'm okay. Just done a 70 mile round trip to Rushton in Northamptonshire to go walk my daughter's rescue dog, Jackson. Lisa is rather poorly today and couldn't walk him. And a and her boyfriend is working. Oh, that's that's cool. Um, glad you managed to go and help. Uh, Ian says, anyone going to Telford tomorrow? David Bassett says, sadly not, Ian, as I'm working at my safety steward job um, at Adams Park for uh, Wickham's home match versus Stevenage. Uh, would have been nice to meet Wayne Green, Phil and Luke uh, Del Masso. My smod says, Ian Campbell, not me. It's too far for me to travel. Ian says, uh, okay, he's both. I was going to say, look out for the big guy in an orange shirt. <laughs> Ian says, myself and Drew are meeting up with Wayne and Esther in a few weeks for breakfast at our favourite garden centre. I'm going to discuss with them and meet and greet for next year. Uh, David says, uh, is that one of the, that is that the one that has the amazing Christmas displays, Ian? Uh, Ian says, yep, that's the one, uh, Gates in Oakham. Uh, Ian says, uh, Wayne always ends up buying more Xmas decos. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Uh, Mark Smart says, Ian Campbell, a meetup sounds like a great idea. And David Bassett says, would certainly like a meet and greet in the future. I'm traveling up to Northamptonshire a lot these days as my kids live in Rushton and Northampton. Ian says, would be nice to have Chloe, Mike, and Jason there too. Uh, perhaps even Agora, but priority would be fair price bar. <laughs> uh, David Bassett says, uh, Pocaster uh, Mill Brewery has a room they hire out, Ian. And then Ian says, thanks, David. I'll keep folk informed once we've spoken with the Greens. So that sounds all very exciting. Obviously, wherever it, these things are, it's miles and miles for me. But I don't mind doing a bit of mileage. As I've just done two, you know, the last two holidays. I went up to Devon and then I literally come back home for a day after that and then was back up north at Alton Towers. So I covered quite a lot of miles. Okay, back to the uh, the door. The step um, G now is to place the inner panel on the inside of the door so the posts align with the holes in the panel. Okay, so that's going to fit on there nicely. We've got these two pins at the top. Yeah, really happy with that. Again, nice fit. Okay. 
press the panel door so they are flush and secure the parts with four VDO four screws. One, two, three, and four. For this, and then I'm going to use a bit of oil again as we are going into metal. Right, really happy with that. That's all a nice, tight um, brush fit. And um, our handle still works. So that's really cool. Okay, the next step then is to secure the closing system to the inner panel frame door with two BP09 screws. So that is going to go... On there and line up and then we want BP09 Okay, so that's our window opens, and then we can hopefully shut the window like so. Perfect. Yeah, we can unclip that. Window opens. We can push that back in, and then oh, secure it shut with. I love it. It's just like the real thing. Well, yeah, and it works really well. So there we have our issues 79 and 80 complete. Just getting all my fingerprints off this. That'll be covered anyway. Um, yeah, and as I say, we've got the nice door handle that actually that actually works. So that's a really nice touch. So what I'm going to do now is put that in here so we don't get it damaged. And then that will go away now until... Next time, I guess we'll be doing the door cards and things. So that it's nearly finished. And this is going to be one of the double doors here uh, in the back. Okay. So that comes to the end of the build for this week. So, yeah, we've done, well, an hour. Wow. That's a bit of a record for this build, I think. Um, so yeah, at least there was a uh, something to do and get our teeth into. Okay, now I need to just put away the screws BDO eight. 
BP09 and a BD04. Perfect. Spare screws are away. Leaves me with a load of rubbish to get rid of. Uh, right then, let's finish up. Okay. Right, yeah, really enjoyed that. Uh, nice bit of work done there. So, David Bassett says, if I didn't, ca uh, if it. If it didn't clash with other events, could even possibly get my friend to provide a route master to shuttle visitors from Milton Keynes stations to the brewery, though. But you might have to provide a driver. Uh, but I'm sure between all of us, we could probably uh, drive the bus. Steve Owen's a bus driver. Um, well, there's quite a few. I know uh, <laughs> Dave Say can drive a bus. Yeah, but um yeah just uh nah. it'd be good uh ian says we'll try and make it accessible as possible for folk driving or using public transport um ian says but we'll keep that in mind david bassett says yes of course ian uh ian says hi Alex, you still okay for a chat on sunday evening tomorrow's gonna be but yeah that's fine ian yeah just give us a ping um whenever you're ready no worries at all as long as it's not too early in the morning. Oh, you said evening, so yeah, that's fine. <laughs> David Bassett says, this is looking really nice now, Holly. It's a great stream. Well done uh, with the fiddly pins. Like and subscribe, folks. Thank you, David. Uh, Dave Matt says, excellent work, Alex. You've done a great job on the door. Great show, big thumbs up. Thank you, Dave. And Ian says, nice one, Alex. So thank you very much for all your nice comments. Um yeah that's it really um so tomorrow is exciting we start the bedford show um so tomorrow evening at seven uh be hosted by myself and ds models and we should have all being well lindsay's build joining us uh through the journey uh, and we'll all be building, as far as I'm aware, the same model. We're doing the Bedford. Um, we're doing the uh, the drop side. Uh, I believe Lindsay's doing that one as well, all being well. Um, so, yeah, look out for that tomorrow. That will be 7 o'clock uh, on myself and DS Models' is, uh, YouTube. Uh, and then we need to work out about... Um, Lindsay's builds as well so but we'll all be sorting that out tomorrow so yeah come and join us tomorrow for the start of a new Bedford build um really excited for that uh and then I'm just going through this schedule which is really out of date again it's surprising how quick this uh this goes right so then Sunday we've got part work live at seven o'clock with Mark's Mods uh, and he'll uh, have the Nexus on there as well. So watch out for that. And then, uh, yeah, I will leave um, I'll leave it at that. Uh, Monday uh, should be the Disney Dolls House uh, with Yorkshire Crafter. Uh, maybe Crafty Chris, but it, it all depends um, how she's feeling. Um, so, yeah, but you'll, we'll, we'll update you uh, or Mark or... Or we, me and Dave, will update you tomorrow um, on that. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Um, please give the video a like uh, and consider subscribing if you like the content. Uh, mainly do live builds. Uh, and then in the description as well is the links to everyone in the community's channel. So please uh, have a look through and uh, show your support if you haven't already. All of you here have already. Uh, but if anyone's watching uh, when I'm not live, uh, descriptions are in the link below. And um, my, what else is in there? 
my Amazon wish list is in there as well if you want to support me in that way at all. Um, and yeah, that's it really for me. So uh, Ian says, excellent. We'll see you at 7 p.m. tomorrow's night. All. So yeah, thank you, Ian. Good night. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, have a great uh, rest of your evening and we will see you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, see you all later. Uh, goodbye from me.